In an ideal world, I guess we'd all love to be able to ride from the doorstep out to the trails, but actually where I live, often I'm driving, actually almost every time I want to ride, I drive to the trails. Uh, so here's a list of things that I keep in my van and I take on every single ride just in case I need them. I actually take a toolbox everywhere because I want to be able to fix my bike if I need to and look after it. But essential is at least taking a set of Allen keys. Now, I've got a van, so I'm lucky in that respect that I don't have a car with a little bit less room, but I actually have stuck these onto my ply over here so that I know I've got these tools with me. I've got a little uh, ratchet there and a little multi-tool, but also I've got plenty of other tools in here. Uh, including this, this is a, a full ratchet set. My favorite tool to take on the trail. Super useful, I've even got torque bits in there, but I use this thing absolutely loads. Water. So this lives in my driver's door. So this is obviously for drinking, for filling up my water bottle before I go for a ride. But also when it comes to the wetter months, as it's turning to autumn UK, I've got like a decent sized jerry can that I fill with water for my mobile washer. Yeah, a lot of places in the UK, like bike parks, trail centers, have uh, facilities to wash, but often it costs you a quid or two. So more often than not, I like to be prepared to take my own water and my washer with me to make sure I take my bike home and it's kind of ready to roll for the next ride. I think you need to have a pump in the car. So I've got the ones that I might take with me on a ride, mini pump and the CO2 canister. I don't want to use them just for sort of topping up my tire before a ride, but I can if I have to. But this is my trusty old trap pump. You see it's a symptom abuse, but this one lives in the van. In my old car, before I had a van, actually, you know, in the back of the boot, there's a little thing that lifted up to stash tools away that maybe I wasn't going to use that often, but I've kept this pump with me all the time when I'm going for a ride. A bucket or a sturdy bag is really useful if you're riding in the, in the rain, the wet conditions. You can stand inside a big bucket, like a builder's bucket, get change and leave all your kit in there. I actually have one of these things I've shown off for. This is like a, a surf bag. So basically you stand on that, get changed, normally out of your wetsuit, but I use it for my muddy kit. And then you basically got drawstrings on the side, leave all your muddy kit in there. And then when you get home, obviously it's not got the rest of your car dirty and you can just launch all that in your washing machine. Super good. Uh, way of doing it, but I have seen loads of people standing in builders' buckets. That's not my style. A scummy old blanket. These are actually like uh, for moving house, I think. I bought these off Amazon. I bought, I reckon, eight of them. Pretty cheap, super useful. They're nice and thick. So quite often I use these to go between bikes if I'm taking someone in the van with me. I'll put bikes together and strap them, but obviously if you're taking wheels out and sticking them in the back of the car, great as well just for stopping your bike getting scratched. Also good for using the pillow if you want to have a lie down in the back of the van after a, a hard ride. If you want to go a level up and uh, get a bit fancier than an old blanket, then these things are brilliant. This is made by Nukeproof, but it's like a really thick padded sort of semi bike bag. You basically drape it over the top of your bike and then strap it in. Again, if you're putting another bike against it, it makes a brilliant job of uh, stopping the bike getting scratched. A couple of things I use a lot is a little rag. So this one from Mark Off Super is like a little towel one. So great for drying your bike off if you washed it. Other side, maybe not quite so absorbent, you see. Often I'll just use that to run the chain through it and then lube the chain before I go for a ride because often I'll forget to do that at home. So it's nice having some lube in the back of the van uh, just in case. I think these key safes are a really good idea. Actually, having said that, I don't really use it much anymore because my van key is so small now that I'll actually take it on the ride with me. You put your car key in there. Obviously, it's got a lock on it. You can lock it around your wheel or around a spring or something like that. And it's a combination lock so that uh, you don't get your car in it. Because I have done that back in the day. I went for a surf once with a friend, came back, no car. They watched uh, my friend hide the key on the wheel, nick the car. So don't, don't end up like me stuck in Wales, just in your wetsuit. Yeah. 
Right, this one I think is really essential and you, you don't need it until you need it, but this is a first aid kit that I take everywhere. Like I said, I actually haven't used this for quite a while, so touch wood, don't need to. But in there, I've got uh, some pretty good stuff actually. Got a midgy net if you ever go to Scotland, but loads of bandages, scissors, got some gnarly things. What is this? A uh, modular bandage for treatment of moderate hemorrhages. Hopefully I'll never need that, but some pretty serious kit in here that will get you out of a couple of little scrapes and also just some uh, nice little plasters. Let's do a mini van tour whilst I'm here. Luckily, I do have the space in the back of my van to take spares with me. So in mine, like I said, I drive to ride most times. So I've got helmets I keep up here and glasses, so I never go without. Gloves are stashed in there, an umbrella, coffee making stuff and spares all over the place so tubes i've actually got a tire i don't often carry spare tires to be fair but i do take pedals because i sometimes swap between flats and clips a lot so I generally have a set of flats and clips in the van maybe a bit fancy but i do like to carry loads of other bits and bobs not probably essentials but things like spare mech hanger i've got spare Frank Brothers cleats and bolts, because sometimes you'll lose a bolt somehow if you're replacing new cleats or whatever. Some little puncture repair kits, that'll probably stay in the van while I'm going backpack, but also gaffer tape and more spares. I've even got some tire levers, more little tubeless tools if you have trouble inflating your tubeless tire, take the valve out with that. So various tools are well worth keeping if you've got some spares you don't keep at home. I also carry a backpack in the van just for those more epic rides. If I decide I want to take more tools or food with me, again, that might as well uh, live in the car or your van, uh, just so I've got it when I need it. All right, there's a few things that I like to take with me. Am I missing anything? Anything that you think I should stick in the van? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, tell me how you like to prepare for rides.